Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to do a real quick braille sign in Engrave Lab. I'm going to start with my layout plate size. I'm going to make my width at 6 and my height at 9. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my text, M E N, uh, swipe through it, change it to inch and a half lettering change the font and I'll just pick out look for Arial I've got a lot of fonts here Arial black double click Here's the font that I want. And I'm going to double click on the baseline, actually make it just a little bit smaller, inch and a quarter. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. Now I usually just hit Control D and I'm going to take it down here and double click on the baseline. And you should have this little Braille symbol. If you right mouse click on it, you'll see that this is Braille Punch Normal. You can also browse to get Braille Punch California which is normally it and then click on select this is the standard height 0.395 grade 2 English and then just say OK and once that's done then you just click on the grade 2 Braille now a lot of times people will eliminate the double dots in front of it to indicate the um, that it's capitalized and just put these two characters here so I'm going to just align to plate so I'll go alt K and align to plate and center it so here I've got my men and then I'm going to just bring in a pictorial uh, go to my text tool click here and I'm going to go down to Q&E fonts and I you, you may have some symbols but here's my international symbols profiling and I can go to character picker I do know that it's the letter M because I made the font but let's say that I want to use this one here I only needed to click on it once and then close character picker swipe through this and I want this to be about four inches tall and then again I'm going to go this time control K because I already did the alignment and now that is centered on there and to make this a little more pleasing I may move this up right here when this engraves right here if, if this section you're probably going to do an outline so you might go to engrave create and actually I would do it separately I do this one separately engrave create a tool path we're going to do a mail. Mail is larger and it goes to the outside. Let's go ahead and select a tool. Probably it's going to be a 1530. And I'm going to give it a color of 15 since it's a 15 cutter. And we're cutting about 60,000 steps. And we're going to do it in one pass. And then say OK. And I'm going to turn off Alt S. Oops. Um, under view I think it's alt n show tool diameter so now what I'm gonna engrave of course is just this blue outline and then coming down here I'm gonna do the same thing here with the men select this engrave create tool path mail and I'm gonna use the same tool and same color and I can see over here because I have view palettes and show job palette checked it shows that P15 over there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the alt key uh, I remember this because I want to get an A in the class and I click on alt P15 F8 to see the entire sign and now the only thing I can send is just this P15 layer to cut out this symbol then I'm going to click back and then P1 I'm going to send this when I send this I'm going to go to engrave output now 
normally it's the Q3X standard ZU, but for this, I need to, well, I don't have it set up here, but um, let me show you where that's at. Cancel, let me close this. Engrave, engraving defaults. I can click on setup, go to standard ZU, create a custom copy of it, and I'm gonna call it Braille. You may have a Braille driver already there, but you can make one. So I'm gonna click on Braille, and I'm gonna to go to uh, tool options and change it to Braille drill, and then just say okay. So now that it's Braille drill, apply and okay. Apply and close. Now when I engrave this, engrave, output, I now have a Braille driver there. So all I did is just add, duplicate this, make it Braille, and then I click on the plotter tool and it will do just the drilling. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick uh, video.